Gutter Trash is a proud member of the Comics Podcast Network. Hello and welcome to Gutter Trash, episode 60. Six zero. Six zero. That's a lot. Goliath. This is the name of the movie we reviewed. My name is Eric. And I am Jason. And hello. How are you doing? Uh, been better. <laughs> yeah. Been better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What, what's, uh... What's your ailment? Uh, that should be the name of the show, actually. What's your ailment? Yeah. <laughs> Caller, what is your ailment? See, we just got through talking about how we weren't going to peek, and you just peeked. I did. I just peeked. <laughs> I looked inside your pants. Oh, Take a peek. Uh, you had to look hard, I'll tell you that much. That wasn't the only... Oh, That's no. my ailment. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. No, my ailment is uh, twofold today. Mm-hmm. The first being, of course, the same story that uh, you've been hearing me bitch about for the past year. Mm-hmm. Fucking neighbors. <laughs> I uh, I have to concur today. It's uh, <sighs> it was pretty obnoxious. Oh yeah, the whole time I was over. I'm uh, yeah, I'm glad over. that uh, you came over when you did because that was uh, the. Uh, the height of the obnoxiousness. Mm-hmm. Uh, luckily, it didn't last too long. Right? Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, after like seventeen people left. Seventeen people left, and yeah, calm down. Just a to a, a low roar. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Again, as always, you may be able to hear them building furniture and yelling at each other. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what they do. Maybe they do like build furniture and take it to. <laughs> You know, because they disappear. Are they Black Amish? <laughs> They're the Black Amish. That's good. that's possible. Uh, I mean, it, it's an equal opportunity uh, yeah. uh, religious sect, sure. I guess. Right. Maybe they, that's what they do when you, they tr- travel, maybe, and sell furniture when they sell disappear for a while. Sell furniture. Right. Yeah, it like could be. Headboards, a uh, little, maybe a boudoir, you know. Right, right. Trundle bed, maybe. Right. Yeah. You know. yeah it could be. Could yeah. be. I have been curious as to what happens when they do... Because they do. They disappear for weeks at a time, Mm -hmm. and I get used to being happy. (laughs) Right? (laughs) You settle in. And and I think maybe they become aware that uh, I have uh, become contented, and they come back to build more furniture to fuck with my life. (laughs) They they sense your your relaxed state. Yes. (laughs) They're like the Christmas elves, only they're drunk and disorderly. Uh, you know, you say relaxed state, and I cannot stress how much, how appropriate that, uh, coin of phrase is Mm -hmm. when they are not here. Uh, Friday evening, uh, they did not come home till like 9 o'clock, and so from like 5.30 to 9 o'clock, holy God, was I contented yeah. and relaxed in the instant that I heard a footstep on the stairwell. Fucking my neck just tensed up. Right, yeah. And I got like this fucking buzzing sound at the base of my skull. <laughs> it's horrible. I was like, what the fuck is this? That's horrible. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's not your fault. <sighs> Somebody needs to move. You or them. Uh, yeah, I've been here ten years. I've got... I've got tenure. You get, you get literally, literally, and seniority. You've got seniority. <laughs> exactly. I've I've known the people who uh, operate this uh, whole building for all of my life. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I think my word would be a little bit better than. <laughs> and, uh, I think I've said this before, but it keeps reminding me of, of those old cartoons where like the bear is trying to hibernate, and there's like uh, like woodpeckers and woodchucks like all over the tree, and he's just trying to hibernate. And, like, he keeps coming outside to sh- I mean, like, yell at him. And, oh, I love those cartoons when I was a kid. But, yeah, well, but it doesn't make for a good real-life experience, no, probably. No, not when I'm the bear. <laughs> right. 
Just turn and by that, that I mean I am a big fat hairy gay man. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> and Kathleen's my beard. Hello. Hi, Kathleen. Wait, what? Kathleen's my beard. Oh, so I'm your bear then? Yeah, you're my bear. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. So we're both gay is what? Okay, I got you. That's the, that's the joke that's that the we do every single episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of our three jokes. Yeah. Uh, get used to it, listener. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> um, but uh, in, in happier news, uh, I got a pair of winter shoes today. And uh, instead of my Chuck Taylor Converse All Stars, no uh, green. Which, uh, well, I've had green. And, I have green okay. and black. I've got a couple different pairs, but um, but yeah, I can walk around in the snow now and yeah. not have cold feet for the rest of the day. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm pretty excited now. Uh, uh, spoken without actually seeing these shoes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that sounds like an awesome thing that you've done. But I've seen your shoes. <laughs> They're Velcro. <laughs> they look like bowling shoes. They they have actual shoe strings. There's a like for some reason there's like a Velcro thing at the Strap bottom. Strap across yeah. there. I don't know why. It seems like ineffectual. And, in the and, but design. but they are indeed in the the shape and form and coloring of a and, bowling and shoe. And comfort. Don't forget comfort. <laughs> the sole is. Uh, they look like cleats. Yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah. Kind of. They're like flat cleats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're 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 uh, an outside shoe. They're not meant for the bowling alley, but right. they they sort of would. They're like the bowling alley shoe stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> when bowling alley shoe has to do some action, right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, like if I was in a movie and uh and there was an action scene where I like leapt over a banister at a bowling alley, right. Those would be the shoes that I would my, I would wear. Okay. Yeah. Because on the landing, you could slip and break your neck with the, right, the with other the bowling, regular bowling, real bowling yeah. shoe. Uh-huh. <clears throat> this one's a professionally trained... Right. Mm. No, but I'm so, just happy that my feet are warm. Well, that's, that's good. You ever think about uh, investing in, like, you know, a pair of uh, boots or, you know, big boy shoes? <laughs> um, well, I got the big boy pants, and I don't want to <laughs> grow up all the way all at once. <laughs> No, I went to a DSW this morning because I had to pick up some some uh, some comics out at the uh, Office Max. I'm not not the, not a DSW. No. no, I picked up some comics at Office Max. Office Max. Office Depot. Office yeah. Depot. I forget which is which. Yeah. Office Depot. I, I'd prefer you to go to Depot. I okay, that's the one. I, that's the one I went to. Where, where uh, my friend works. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, she wasn't there today. Well, but, of course not. It's Sunday. Uh, but yeah. it was in the morning. Right. Yeah. But so I was like, I'm right across church from church What I'm saying. Oh, welcome. No. <laughs> well, I was like, I'm right across from DSW. I'll go buy me some nice winter shoes because I really need them. What comic were you printing? Um, when I dropped off. That's right. That's Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your, uh, your reprints I had some of reprints. Uh, your second printing. That's the first second printing. Yeah. Of uh, issue number three, that you dogs had it. And uh, yeah, I had this one done on like white paper instead of the newsprint. And yeah. I, I think it actually looks better on oh. on the white paper. Yeah. <laughs> But it doesn't feel as cool. But I was so excited uh, to have things on newsprint, and then you know, and then uh, when I did the latest one, like you know, obviously I couldn't do it on newsprint. Nobody would do it on newsprint because right. I've broken like four machines in this town. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had it on white paper, and I got the, you know the, some more number threes reprinted, and, the, and yeah, it looks it looks good on white paper. Of course it does. Yeah. Oh, I th- of course I think, it does. I think. Uh, People should use white paper to print comics on. You think? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but I oh still. Oh God! And like your, your next book is going to be done on like you know heavy glossy paper. Yeah, with a foil cover. Right. Of course, if you do that, I'm not buying it because I hate glossy paper. Well, you always get a free copy because you do all the. Well, I would work. not take your free copy. Oh, nice. See, I can tolerate your newsprint uh-huh. because at least when I hold it under the light, I can actually still see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a fan of the glossy either. Glossy mm-hmm. interiors. I don't mind the glossy cover, maybe, but yeah, maybe. Man. Yeah. Anyway, but, uh, uh, but, but uh, DS- oh yeah, well, I went to DSW. Yeah. Oh man, I looked around there for like an hour. I couldn't find anything that I liked. Uh, everything was super expensive. That looked any like something I would wear. Right. And so I was like, I was like, fuck it, I'm just going home. And uh, and on the way home, I was like, you know, I'm gonna run by the thrift store. God. And I went by the thrift store. <clears throat> And uh, and they only have like seriously thirty pairs of shoes at the thrift store, right? I found a pair that I liked in my size 
for three bucks. I was pretty stoked. I'm not a supporter of buying articles of clothing at the first store. <laughs> right. Well, I know. I remember, remember you said that. Right. But, uh, but yeah, you, there are like 17 other shoe places you could have gone to well, between I only, I only DSW passed, and your house. I passed one other one, and it was closed because it was like 10 till noon, and they opened at noon, and I was like, I don't want to wait 10 minutes. Or, I'm a busy guy. At noon. Jesus. That's I know it's Sunday yeah. and everything, but you know, come on, eleven. Uh, yeah, I know that's what I thought. Yeah. It was like it was what's it called, Shoe Mart or something? It's out there by the mall. Right, right. right. And uh, I bought uh, bought some uh, insoles there. Mm. Was... Cool. Those things are very awesome insoles. Yeah. Uh, I need them. Mm-hmm. Can't uh, can't do with the the raw shoe. Mm-hmm. I can do, but I can do better with them. Exactly. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm suited up for winter. Uh, let the snow come. I don't care. Fuck it. No, fuck you. Well, yeah, I, I don't necessarily. Let's uh, let's talk about the snow. <laughs> yeah, because uh, this past week we here in uh, Ohio, uh, I think actually it pretty much scattered across almost all the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it fucking snowed pretty badly on uh, Thursday night. Yeah. And uh, I think it even snowed Monday a little bit. Mm, Maybe I stopped yeah, iced yeah. up a little bit. Yeah, I stopped. Uh, okay, this is just. Uh, I just want an excuse to bitch about something. Okay, go yeah. for it. Uh, okay, we, don't, what, we don't need excuses. Huh? We don't need excuses. Huh? I know, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I can't. It's a good segment. Apparently, when I yell at my neighbors, it doesn't affect them, so you know, oh, I have right. to find other outlets for my anger. Right. And so <laughs> right now, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be hacky comedian, and I'm gonna bitch about the traffic. Okay. <laughs> what about that traffic? <laughs> Monday it was like icy or so I can't even remember. I don't think it even like accumulated anything like that. Right. But the roads are bad. This is gross. Sorry. Right. So I'm listening to uh, the the news radio station uh, on my way to pick up my coworker, and they have a traffic reporter who I think all he does is he just uh, he drives down seventy five. To seventy to six seventy five back to seventy five and like you know that's all he does all morning. Really? Yeah. Just looking for accidents. Yeah. And so apparently Monday morning there was an accident uh, on seventy near Huber Heights, hmm. uh, and so that's all he reported was that there was an accident there. Well, okay. I drive from Dayton to Cincinnati every day, uh, but apparently. In all of the the news world, mm-hmm. the thirty mile stretch between Dayton and Cincinnati is just apparently a, a no man's land. Because as soon as I went past uh, the Dayton Mall, uh, fucking traffic just stopped. There was like three accidents. Mm-hmm. Nothing about it on the fucking radio. <laughs> well, that's because he found another accident. Right, like way the fuck up north. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> So once I get past that, you know, well, while I'm in the middle of it, I turn the radio to a Cincinnati station, figure, okay, well, you know, I'm technically out of Dayton at this point, even though I can still see it in my rear view. Right. Right. (laughs) Our our beautiful skyline. Right. Uh, uh, So I turn the radio to, to a Cincinnati station. And they're talking about a traffic accident that's happening, like, in downtown Cincinnati. And so I'm like, okay. So neither Dayton nor Cincinnati are talking about this accident that I'm currently in right this moment. Right. That eventually clears. I get down to about 10 miles away from my exit that I get off for work. And there's another fucking accident that nobody has reported on. I was like two hours late to work. Wow, that's that's considerable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you you you've got alternate routes, I'm sure. Uh, not take. really. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, especially if you can't get to the exit to take that alternate yeah. route. Yeah. Well, that sucks. That sucks. But then Thursday night was when we had the big snowstorm. I left work like at eleven that day, like yeah. eleven in the morning, to oh, well. to beat the weather. And yeah, I made it back. Yeah. Relatively decent time, and you know, I just uh, yeah, what was in for the evening? Just chilled. All right. Friday morning, I decide. Okay, I get up at five. And I'm thinking, 
I'm going to make an honest try at going to work. You know, if I, if I get to my car and, like, my car is buried in snow, or, like, as soon as I pull out of the, the parking lot and, like, the and Patterson is, like, super icy and I, like, start spinning, I'm pulling back in and I'm just staying there for the day. Right, all right. Well, the roads were not great, but I wasn't sliding around or anything. You, you could manage. I could manage. So, uh, as long as I was careful, you know. So, I went and picked up my coworker, and the roads were bad. Still made it to work at the time that I usually do. Really? That's yeah. impressive. Uh, yeah, in my shitty little, you know, car. My, my nine-year-old Ford. Uh... <laughs> Get to work, and none of the people who actually live in Cincinnati showed up for work that day. <laughs> huh. Especially the one guy who has a gigantic fucking truck who, every time somebody talks about how the roads are going to be bad, he's like, oh, my truck can handle it. Oh, my fucking truck, man. He's that kind of guy? Yeah, right. Yeah, didn't fucking show up to work. Oh. <laughs> He had a good excuse, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I know one time he didn't show up to work because a tree fell on his house, but, uh, well, that's, you know, that's pretty so, so yeah. maybe that happened again? I don't know. Because <laughs> otherwise, you know, his fucking truck should have made it to work. Yeah, you would think, you would think. <laughs> any 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 vehicle uh, that has an adjective of the F word should be able to drive through any, any weather condition. Fucking. Oh, yeah, the thank fucking you. truck. The fucking truck. Why are you trying to clean it up? <laughs> no, it was just... <laughs> Yeah, you know, well, just to be in the uh, you know respectful to the uh, the elderly listeners that we have. Oh, our, uh, it's at the, down at the nursing home. Uh, Hi, Bev. Hi, Sally. Ethel. Yeah, Ethel. Oh, yeah. So she passed. She actually day. passed away. Ethel passed away. Fuck. Yeah. <sighs> why, why didn't you tell me sooner? No. I would. I would have gone to the funeral. No. <laughs> she was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Weather, so, hey. what, bad weather? Bad, but bad, yeah. That's, that's all I wanted to bitch about. I needed to oh, just really? get that okay. out. Okay. Yeah. I thought that had something to do with your neighbor. I thought there was, like, something where, you know, you had to, like, deal with the uh, neighbors in the weather or something. I don't know. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, they stop their feet a lot more now because they're trying to get the snow that's off their right. shoes. Yeah. Well, that's... So, so that's increased by, like, you know, 300%. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. We should have them on the show sometime. No. <laughs> no. Actually, I think you, we technically have. They just don't we, know it. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got I got out of school early on Thursday. Uh, we closed. The, they closed the school at five because uh, I'm there till almost seven. Right. And, uh, got to leave early, which was fun because I don't really like my interpersonal communications class that. That's uh, the last class of the night. Interpersonal know. communication. Mm. And you've only taken that for two days, and you already don't like it. Yeah. First of all, what is it? It's just, like, basically, uh, you know, like a speech and, like... Okay. Uh, obviously, I knew that. I can't even describe what it is. Uh, you know, <laughs> talking, bad, bad. No, I make noise from my mouth. <laughs> it's it's basically like about the whole. There's like flow charts about how to speak and receive messages, and and it's like I I know how to talk to people. I just don't like talking in front of a bunch of people. You yeah. know, that's why I do this show yeah. you know, because we never have to worry about more than four people listening to us. Yeah. Um, well, technically, we could be talking to a lot of people, but uh, you'd never see them anyway. Right? So, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. And I can imagine them all naked. I yeah. imagine Kurt and uh, Brian and Pat, Joe G. Well, I don't think you have to imagine Completely new. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Hundred stuff. <laughs> um, uh, uh, you know, on that on that note, uh, you know, it's like uh, we we do this show, and like I'm I'm this personality when when we do it. Mm -hmm. But uh, if we were to ever meet any of our listeners that uh, that I don't already know, <laughs> they would think that you hate them. Uh, uh, most likely, <laughs> or I, I would I would just totally become the person that. Uh, you know, you see me in when I'm at Mavericks. You know, just super quiet, super quiet. You're not making eye contact. Right. You know, 
whispering. Yeah. If I do speak at all. Yeah. And they would probably just think you're hungover or something. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So if uh, Kurt, Brian, whoever else, if I ever meet you, uh, I apologize now. Uh, <laughs> just get you, just, we'll just get you drunk before. Oh, yeah. If you get me drunk, I'll be f- yeah. this way. Yeah. This yeah. is you drunk. Maybe, maybe a little less angry. Yeah. Probably. Because I'm, I'm pretty happy drunk. Yeah. You're not drunk right now. Uh, yeah. Right. You're just talkative. I'm, I'm, I'm drinking my... Uh, Sierra Mist Cranberry Splash, Ooh. which I'm uh, I've become addicted to. Yeah, but I think they're uh, they're now out of season. Uh, I think it was a Christmas thing only. That sucks. Yeah, maybe there's like a you know some convenience store that's over ordered and you can just Probably. keep, keep yeah. buying it through the springtime. Right, right. Hope, hope. Okay, yeah, we were talking about this earlier. If anyone has any uh, views on, like, convenience store porn, I think it's really weird that there's porn at convenience stores. And and I have nothing... I'm Like, don't worry, I'm not, like, against porn. Right. You know, like, uh, go for it, you know. But it just seems weird that it's at convenience stores, because it seems like... I know we've talked about... You, it's convenient. Yeah, it's a convenient <laughs> place to buy toothpaste and, and, and beer and porn, right? <laughs> and headache medicine. But yeah, it just seems odd. I don't know. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I don't find anything weird about it. It, it. it doesn't even cross my mind. For some reason, like, uh, cigarettes and alcohol, like, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not like, how dare they sell those? But, yeah. but like, it just seems like such a place for, you know, just <clears throat> a wholesome, like, you know, I'm gonna run up to the corner and get me a... Yeah, that's not know. wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> The fucking convenience stores are not all. Uh, well, obviously, you've seen the people who work there. Right. Yeah, it's true. I've, now, I will admit, I've if looked, I go into a convenience store with a hankering for porn, hmm. you know, I want to get the newest hustler or barely legal or, or, or barely legal, and like you know, the uh, sweet seventy-five-year-old retiree is working there. Right. Uh, that's going to be a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, but like, but you wouldn't be weird about like buying a like a Corona. Tall boy or, no, or whatever, right. you know, or a pack of smokes. I mean, right, right. Yeah, but that, that's what I'm saying. It like seems like this one thing that's just maybe over the top as far as like cultural taboos and like public places. Where and, else? Do you, like an actual porn shop? Well, they have actual porn shops. Yeah, I know, uh, they do. You know, I mean, even date, especially in Dayton, I mean, yeah, there's yeah. Like a few. Um, but yeah, it just seems kind of strange for some reason, and I I don't can't quite put my finger on why. I mean, I know there's like you know photos of people fucking in those and that's maybe that's the reason i'm thinking that it's unwholesome but to have in you know where kids can buy like bubble tape you know but well, they're not though they're, they're, they're right. behind the counter and most of them the covers are covered up all right you know yeah i don't know yeah it's, it, they've always been there i don't see I, anything I know. I, yeah and like i don't quite understand why it's I'm like I, you know, I'm, I'm not buying porn but you know i don't th- see any reason why it shouldn't be there right yeah but uh as long as you know it's not being sold to kids yeah yeah Yeah. i just yeah i just i don't know i mean if like again if i were to buy porn and ethel is fucking working there then yeah that's gonna be a little weird for both of us you might wait till the guy with the tribal face tattoos is on on his shift yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't quite understand. I'm not saying they should get rid of it. I just, I just, for some reason, like, I've seen it there for, you know, more than a decade, and I just... Today, like, it bothers the, you. It, no, every, oh, okay. day, every time I've seen it for, like, the last, you know, 15 years, I'm like, that is weird. Why is that here? Huh. <laughs> it's like when I, I first saw, like, shotgun shells at Walmart or something, you know, I just, I don't know, I was just like, oh, okay. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Let's uh, let's go ahead and talk about that other reason that I'm angry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, fuck <laughs> you. I had no idea. <laughs> I, had n- I had never seen it. I saw the video box at Blockbuster and I was like, "That looks kind of cute. It's a cat, and a with a, dr- a crown or a halo drawn over his head." And, it's a halo. And I flipped over the back and I was like, "This man has lost everything. His wife, his job." And even the worst part, he's just lost his cat. And I was like, well, yeah, that sounds horrible. Yeah. But it looks kind of funny. And they mentioned how they, they have, like, really funny, like, film shorts. The the It's made by the Zellner Brothers. Zellner Brothers, yeah. Like a 
I'm, I'm guessing Steven. that whoever wrote the copy for that doesn't know the meaning of the word funny. Or he was paid well. <laughs> right. Uh, we are talking about Goliath, the movie that you picked. Yeah. And holy shit, what a terrible piece of crap. <laughs> it's uh, 80 minutes long, felt like 16 hours. It's hard to watch. <laughs> and that, okay, here, here's what I think. It, it like... It felt like I, I watched a 60-hour version of Falling Down directed by Harmony Korine. That's how painful it was. <laughs> but, but Wait a minute, are you saying you don't like Falling Down, then? I do like Harmony Korine, and I do like Falling Down, Okay, but not a 60-hour version of Falling Down by him. Like, it just reminded me of the scenes in some of his movies, Harmony <clears throat> Korine, like the guy did Gummo and Kids. Right. Uh, or I guess he didn't direct Kids, he just wrote it or whatever. But anyway. Whatever. Yeah. But a lot of his films have that thing where you're like, I'm like... He is still filming this scene. Like the point of this scene has been conveyed, right? And the it's camera still is still right. going. Yeah, like that Family Guy thing where like they'll just keep it going on, yeah. like a joke or whatever. But the thing is, like with that, it, it's funny. It's meant to be. There is no okay. It is funny, uh, but there is a fine line. Yeah. Where oh yeah, where you know it is funny for a while. Yeah. But okay, there comes a point. Stop it. Like the scene where they're signing all the paperwork. Holy shit! There's like an eight minute scene of them signing of him and his wife getting their divorce papers signed. Yeah, seriously, the camera doesn't cut, and all you see there's it's nothing like funny in the background. Nope, nothing weird going on. No, not no, at all. It's not like he showed up to with a like a you know the word cock written on his forehead, like unbeknownst to him, and now he's signing all this paperwork. And how embarrassing is that? Right. No, no. It's just him signing paperwork for eight minutes. Fuck. <laughs> and and the worst part, I think, <clears throat> is that I really think that this could have been good. Yeah. Like, there are so many directions that could have gone oh, and yeah. did not. Like, even halfway through the film, or even, like, if they would have filmed this entire thing exactly like they did, but they edited it down to, like, a 20-minute short, it would have been really good. I had that thought, uh, oh, what was the... There's one scene where... Like, immediately I just thought, this should have been, like, a ten-minute f- short film. Yeah. And, like, even, again, on the back of their uh, the DVD box, it says, like, they made, like, award-winning short films. Right. Clearly, that is where their strength the, there's lies. There's their Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and, yeah, it's only, what would you say, 88 minutes or something? It's 80 minutes. 80 minutes. But, yeah, it feels like two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you're on death row or... Like, you know, you're having really great sex and you don't want it to end. Or you want it to seem like it's going on for, like, ever. Put this movie in while you're doing that. And, like, your time will just... It'll slow to crawl. I was I was going to get, like, super angry at you. But uh, you diffused that. <laughs> like, halfway through the movie, you just... Out of nowhere, is like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Which was the funniest thing that had happened all night. <laughs> Uh, oh. Yeah, because we try not to, like, if we watch a film together right before we uh, review, we try not to let the other person know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, what, if we liked it or disliked it. We just keep it to ourselves. But yeah, the, it, I think that was during uh, the, like, 12 minute lawn mowing scene. Yeah. <laughs> where he's mowing his lawn for 12 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like a brown bunny. Uh, there's, like, a, at the very beginning of that movie, there's a scene uh, that the, uh, What's what's that guy's name? Uh, Vincent Gallo. Vincent Gallo. He he films like a racetrack where like just cars are racing in, in a circle, you know, like NASCAR right. style, and it goes on and on for like ten minutes, and like you keep thinking like it's gonna mean something or like something's gonna happen, and right. yeah, it's just like I I think they they tried to you know uh, build on it and like uh, bulk it up to be a feature length because yeah. They wanted, to, for some reason, to have a feature-length movie. Yeah, wow. yeah, I can understand that. You know, if you're making shorts and you want to try your hand at something longer, but uh, fuck, what a yeah, what a terrible failed experiment this was. Yeah, it, it reminded me a lot of like a a school project, like mm-hmm. a school movie, where yeah. you're like, well, there's some funny parts, and that guy's actually a good actor, not the main guy, right. but <laughs> but uh, there's a couple of good actors that you know are in the movie for like a minute or two. Are there? I, I thought the uh, the boss that that had him fire the guy. I thought he was pretty good. Uh, I didn't like that at all. But mostly, yeah, everybody yeah, is not good. Not very good at all. Um, oh, 
Oh, it's horrible. I was honestly really afraid that you liked this. Oh, yeah. And that when you said, I'm so sorry, because <laughs> I thought that you, you kind of saw that I was not enjoying it, and, like, you really were enjoying it. Oh, yeah. And you know, you're trying to just apologize and defuse it. But, no, I am very glad to hear that uh, you were as miserable as I was. Oh, it was painful. It was a painful experience. <laughs> and like I said, like I keep going back to it, this could have been good. Like, even with the entire, like, exact same footage that they have, yeah. just, like, chopped, chopped way down. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, like, I kept imagining this as a comic book, like, where, you know... You, know, you don't have to, like, you can... You don't have to show every progress of everything. Right, right yeah, right. you, like, just show, like, this, you know, the things that happen between actions or whatever, or, or like, you can act it out in your head, you don't have right. to rely on them to, like, sell it. Well, like you said, you know, I get the point of the scene already, let's move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah that happens so many times where it's just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and, and, and just so many pointless fucking things happen, too. <laughs> That, like, you didn't need to be in the movie at all. Mm. Like, the scene where he's smoking in bed and blowing the smoke into a condom. Yeah. What the fuck was that about? Right. right. <laughs> oh, or, or, like... Uh, well, I, I mostly keep going back to the scenes that it should have been shorter. Like, he's he has the... Uh, the, the can the the electric can opener he's trying to make it worse so the cattle come back oh, you know? when he's walking down the highway yeah he's walking down yeah. and it like goes on you're like okay two seconds maybe right okay i get it move yeah, on yeah yeah funny it, joke yeah oh god it's still going it was on. like three minutes of him walking with a can opener yeah and like he doesn't say anything there's no like like people hearing this description are like well there must be something else going on no, no. he's just walking with a can opener yeah. for three minutes and that's a scene. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, the guy. Yeah. Uh, I think you may have described it, but uh, yeah, he's this guy. He's uh, lost his wife. He is. Uh, he's gotten demoted at work. Uh, yeah, I forget what he was originally, but he's now a custodian, basically. I guess. Yeah. And uh, basically, his life is falling apart, and his cat has gone missing. So he's looking for his cat. His cat is named Goliath. Mm -hmm. The plot of the movie. Yeah, that's it. That is it. And like halfway through, he finds Goliath. Yeah. It is dead. Spoiler, yeah. because don't fucking watch this yeah. movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, and that scene, that was, uh, that was a dead cat. That was a dead cat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love a cat. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got a cat. I love my cat. You love your cat. Your girlfriend has a cat. I you, love her cat. You seem to bond with that cat pretty well. My ex-girlfriend had three cats. Fucking love those cats. If she called me right now, despite the fact that we barely ever talk anymore, I would fucking just lose it if she were to tell me that one of those something happened to one of those cats. Right. My parents have three cats. My landlord has a cat. I love cats. This movie should have made me fucking cry oh, yeah. my fucking ass off. Yeah. Especially when he finds that dead cat, and I could not give a shit yeah. a little bit at all. I know. I know. <laughs> I know what you mean. Like, I, yeah, like you, you see him find this dead cat, and yeah, I expected when that happened for me to, you know, feel really bad. Yeah. I mean, before I even started watching the movie, I was like, oh my gosh, if something happens to this cat, you know. I, yes, we're we're just gonna cry our eyes out. Right, this will be the saddest podcast. We're gonna listen to low, you know, <laughs> but but no, oh my gosh, yeah, it's like okay, cat's dead. Move yeah. on, move on. Yep, yeah. <laughs> and cut, that cut. Scene gets dragged <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> why? Oh. I'm so sorry. I really am. No, it's all right. I'm. You know, I, but I think it's worth it to take a chance because. I, no, oh, yeah, I'm fine with that. As I say, I've rented so many movies that I'm like, this I've never heard of. Right, right. I've never heard of anyone in this movie. Don't you know find a gem or... once in a while? Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes you find, you find Goliath. He's a turd. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. No, yeah. Like, like, there's no way I would have vetoed this movie because I'd never heard of it. Right. I, mean, I don't know what it's about. Could be great. Yeah. Was not. Who knew? Yeah. But we wouldn't know until we watch it. Yeah. <sighs> this is why the internet sucks. <laughs> yeah, because all we could find are positive reviews of this. Nah, I found a few. Oh, you did you find some ones? Did it describe it like it was? Like, no, but uh, no, there's you know it's the internet. Every time someone bad has something bad to say about something, it's usually like, fuck you, you should die. <laughs> yeah, this movie makes me vomit. I hate it. 
you know. Yeah. <laughs> like that, like that's their this section of the uh, right, right. reason behind their hate. <clears throat> now, I don't know that our review of it is uh, much better, oh. but at least we're trying. Yeah, we're trying. We're uh, squeezing out words here. Um <laughs> And there, there was a couple of scenes like where we both laughed out loud, and it was you know at intended laughs. You Maybe, know. yeah, I, I think so. Uh, the the one scene definitely is when he's making up the uh, the poster for uh, you no know, the flyer, the missing cat, the missing cat, and he types out the cat's name, and then uh, <laughs> it's another thing that goes on probably way too long. But he just starts. Uh, I think that one was worked though. That one worked. Yeah, um, <laughs> where he's. Uh, <laughs> He types out the cat's name and uh, just goes through every different font yeah. to see which one looks the best. Yeah, because you already see like the picture of the cat and like it says missing, you know. Yeah. And he's like just all the different names. Oh yeah, that that was funny. <clears throat> and, because we've all been there. Well, or we have. You and you and I have because you we started laughing, cracking up, and you even said out loud, "Why is this funny?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we've done it. Yeah. We have oh been yeah. There. You have done that. Tons of times. Yeah. Uh, there was one scene I laughed out loud at, which uh, I don't... I think you may have chuckled, but I don't think you understood what I was laughing at. Which one? Which one? Uh, it's uh, right after the scene where uh, he and his wife are signing the divorce papers, and they're out in the parking oh, lot. Oh, yeah. She drives away, and he's walking back to his car. Uh, I started laughing because I realized that the coat he was wearing... Was a woman's suit coat. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. They had the slit in the back. That's a woman's coat. A woman's jacket. <laughs> so why was he wearing that? Uh, not because it's supposed to be funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were laughing as he says, like, I smoke in the house now. Yeah, he does yeah. say that line, but yeah. no, I was, was laughing that? because he was wearing a, a woman's jacket. All right. <laughs> yeah, disappointing. Disappointing. Uh, beyond the disappointment. Yeah. yeah, I was... Uh, well, when when you brought the movie over, I, I, uh, I was like, I am either going to hate this, or I am going to cry my fucking eyes out. Right. And, well, I hated it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> and like so many things we've talked about that we do hate on here, part of the reason we hate it is because it could have been good. Yeah. It was really close to being good. Yeah. But it missed by a mile somehow. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, I'd like to see this as a comic, like you know, like just you know, maybe there's a couple things they could change actually, but ninety percent of it leave the same. Just like chop it down, like it, it could be like an eight page comic. I could see that, especially because then you wouldn't get the acting. Yeah, that's the that's one of the main reasons. Uh, at the ending, again, spoiler, because don't watch this. Yeah, don't. Uh, don't watch he he freaks out. And he attacks the uh, the pedophile that lives in his neighborhood. Yeah. Because he has convinced himself that uh, the pedophile killed his cat. For some reason. For some reason. Yeah. And he breaks into the guy's house, basically, and attacks him. <laughs> and he just starts crying about his cat. Could not... I could not find it believable right. that he even give a damn about this cat. Right. Yeah. It'd be like if in a Will Ferrell movie, he was like, "You killed my cat." Right. It's yeah. like, "Oh, this is hilarious." You know. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It does, you don't. It, it wasn't funny. It wasn't touching. Right. Yeah. It was nothing. It was just this guy overacting. Yeah. At being awful in this awful movie. Sometimes, when writers are also directors and they're also actors. It's yeah. just much too much. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's what happened here, I believe. Yeah. He should have got some, some other people. I can tell, you know, he got some of his friends and family members to be in the movie. Right. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Have a good time. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. you got to look at certain things critically, and you need, like, a, an outside perspective once right, in a while. Right, right. A good editor. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Uh, yeah, an editor would have been amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Zellner Brothers, Bob Pollard, hired yeah. editor. Both of you. You need editors. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, that, it's a... Uh, it's one to avoid. Yeah. I I would say. Yeah. And, and again, both of us cat lovers. Yeah. I mean, oh, you yeah. know, th- this... I like quirky, odd, uh, sort of comedy, sort right. of sad. You yeah. know, love that sort of stuff. This should have been one of those movies. Yeah. And, and you know, yeah, we should have... We should be 
emotionally unstable right now yeah. trying to do this review. Yeah. I mean, that is the ideal situation. We should both have just finished crying oh, yeah. and, and just being sad fucking <sighs> bastards because fucking cats are awesome. It even ends on a freeze frame of him with his new cat. Yeah. Means nothing. Nope. Yeah. Cat's cute. Yeah. Yeah, the cat had really interesting, like, Marking, stripes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, the the original cat was, uh, was uh, a tiger striped gray cat. He looks, said it looks like goo. There's one photo that looked exactly. There is one yeah. photo that yeah, I thought oh, that looks like. Yeah, goo. the rest of them not so much. Yeah, but, but yeah. Uh, it did remind me of uh, my old cat Chuckles. Yeah, yeah. And when Chuckles had to, had to be put down, like I fucking uh, lost my shit for like three hours. Right. Yeah. Like like uh, I came home and then I went over to my girlfriend's house and and uh, you know and like like you know as soon as like I saw one of her cats and I was like oh my god my cat is is gone and fucking I'm I'm about to fucking cry right yeah. now yeah me too <laughs> that's what this movie should have done yeah. yeah like that story with that build up was was more emotionally powerful than this seventeen hour film I'm sorry eighty eight minutes. Felt like seventeen hours. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. If you if you go to the library and you're like, damn, I'm off all day tomorrow. I feel like I'm getting the flu, and there's a blizzard coming. All they have is Predator Five and Goliath. Just rent Predator Five. That's yeah. all you need. Just watch it over and over, because you'll be doing yourself a favor. <clears throat> hey, speaking of Predator. Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> Apparently, uh, Robert Rodriguez is directing the next Predator movie. Awesome. It's, it's currently in production. Uh, I think like two, three days ago, when I was at Mavericks, I wondered out loud, probably out of nowhere for no reason whatsoever, whatever happened to Topher Grace? Yeah, he's okay. in a new Predator movie. Is he? Yeah. Cool. With Adrian Brody. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is it just called Predator Three? Predators. Predators. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. I like Robert Rodriguez. Yeah. I think Lawrence Fishburne's in it. Yeah, he's all right, too. Danny Trejo, of course. Can't have a Robert Rodriguez movie without Danny Trejo. That's cool. That's cool. He's he's always giving that guy some work, because he's awesome. Where's Machete? Yeah. Are they going to make that, actually? They, I thought they did. Really? Robert De Niro's in it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, that looks like it'd be fun. Hey. Did, did, uh... Uh... What was that? Black Dynamite? Did that ever come out? Uh, I think it came out in theaters. Obviously not here. Yeah, I never should have been yeah, there. I, uh, well, we're done here. I'll check Netflix and okay. if, uh, if it's got a release date or anything like that. I, we should do a review of Goliath on uh, Netflix. <laughs> do, you, do you ever do that? Review uh, I've never written a review, but uh, I can at least you know, give my opinion of it. Yeah. At least just be like, stay away. Yeah. One star. Yeah. I have occasionally ra- rated a movie, like, you know, given it one star when they, they, you know, I watch a movie and... It's horrible. ...return it, and uh, they, they ask you to rate it so that they can, you know, recommend you movies or whatever like that. I forget what movie it was, but I gave it one star, and usually, like, they give you a recommendation based on it, but it said uh, they didn't have any recommendations, and it also said, ouch. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it actually said, ouch? Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it it's seldom like like usually if I'm watching a movie and it's just bad, I either like you know, I either turn it off or I like start doing something while I'm watching the movie, right. like so I just half pay attention. Right. Uh this, but we're doing it for the show. Yeah, right. since we had to like watch the entire thing, um I I feel like uh part of my life is gone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I uh there's uh like halfway through I uh I checked the uh, the time code on it yeah. to see and like how much longer left. we had to go. It was still like a half hour yeah. left. It's like oh god, <laughs> like oh well. After those two scenes are over, yeah, you know, <laughs> then, half an hour will be gone. Like I picked up the DVD case and I was like reading the back. I was just trying to <laughs> speed it up. Yeah, I was trying to stay awake. I, I noticed there was a director commentary and deleted scenes actually. Yeah, so. <laughs> I also noticed that because we, we watched through to the ending because uh, the credits started and it was just, uh, and it was the new Goliath 
Junior. Right, with the uh, credits over top. Yeah, sleeping on a couch and the credits right over top of that. Yeah, I like a kitty. I'll watch a mm-hmm. kitty. In fact, uh, I think that the credits were probably the most interesting part of the movie. Probably, yeah. You know, watching Killy, Kitty sleep. Yeah, yeah. that's much cooler it's than... cute. <laughs> but uh, the credits ended. Like, they stayed black for a while after that. Mm-hmm. Which usually means that the audio commentary ran long. Oh, oh is that what it is? <laughs> So, like, he still didn't know when to stop. (laughs) Yeah, that's too bad. I would be interested in seeing his short films, though, because it seems like he'd be good at that. Yeah. But, uh, so it's not like I'm like, fuck this guy. Right. Just like, this thing that he made, not so great. Right. Yeah. I've done crap that, you know, people can slag on because, you know, some things are better than others. This this is his thing like that. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. let's hope that yeah. you know, he, his other stuff is better. <laughs> so yeah, consensus uh, agreed. Goliath, awful. Don't watch it. Yeah. Do not want. Wish, wish we'd had David here to kill in, Goliath. In the words of uh, Lolcats, <laughs> do not want. Yeah, <laughs> do not want. Do not want. I can hash cheeseburger. <laughs> See, Lolcats is much better I than love Goliath. <laughs> It's, uh, that's so retarded, but I fucking love it. That would be a guilty pleasure, I believe. Oh, yeah. That would fall into that category. Like ACDC and uh, movies like uh, uh, Valentine and uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer. Right. Those are some of my uh, guilty pleasures. <clears throat> Never seen either of those films? No. Uh, yeah. Urban uh, Legend? Did you see Urban Legend? Nope. Uh, Scream? Nope. Really? I, I like all those movies. Yeah. I really do. Uh, it's like, I like shiny. Watching, you know, uh, Really shiny horror movies. Oh, what? They're like really shiny horror shiny? movies. Shiny? Yeah, they like everything's like perfect looking and oh, okay. like yeah. you know like it's like nine it's like a WB people. Right, right, yeah. I, I, I kind of like those. I yeah. like them. Yeah, I can't. I, I like help. gritty horror. I, I do too, and for like a completely different reason. But I, you know, like like that's actually like wow, this is awesome. <clears throat> but there's other ones I just can't stop. I, I like them. I'm addicted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like some horrible drug that I'm addicted to. Yeah, that's, that's weird. I like a shiny science fiction movie once in a while. Yeah, yeah. You know, if it's good, mm-hmm. to don't like a shiny horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. Shimmering. 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 <laughs> All right, let's uh, go ahead and take a break. That's okay. cool. Yeah. yeah. We'll be back. Hey. 
Hey everybody, welcome back to Gutter Trash. Howdy. How's it going? It's all right. Yeah. 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 Cool. I just uh, wrote my second Netflix review ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for for the film we just watched. Check it out. Uh, it'll, it still needs to be approved, but oh, okay. uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it'll, it'll be there. They approve negative reviews, right? Oh, of course they do. Just as long as you don't say, like, fucking sucked! Probably, yeah. 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 That's I, probably what it is. I think I, uh, I was... Uh, You're articulate, and uh, yeah. you didn't use uh, you didn't stoop to the name Colin. No, no, no. It's unless tiresome and amateur are name Colin, but... Uh, maybe. Yeah. It's descriptive, though. Yeah, yeah. It's very, yeah. You know. I'm sure David Zellner is uh, reading it and like, oh my god, and he kills himself. <laughs> That's that's a shame. I'd yeah, be, that would be a shame. Be a shame. Hopefully, he's got a thicker skin than that. Yeah. What's wrong with you, David? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Grow up. Yeah. <laughs> but it, you know, honestly, though, this did make me re re uh, think a couple of my choices because uh, <laughs> because when I walked through Blockbuster, I was like, "Ooh, that looks weird. Never heard of that." I wrote down like three movies that way, and this was the first one I saw. Right. So. I may scratch a couple of the lists. Uh, all gun shot. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I understand, but, you know, at the same time... Maybe know. I'll do a little more research. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. I'll, like, look for a positive description yeah. by someone whose opinion I trust. Yeah. But on the other hand, you know, I mean... I mean, mm. A, you would have to know someone who's seen it. Right. But, you know, like, like you know, we just saw on Netflix, there was, like, six people who loved Goliath. Yeah. One of them, which said, had great pacing. <laughs> that must have been a sarcastic joke. <laughs> like, this is the best moose turd pie I've ever had. Mmm. <laughs> like, it had to be, that had to be a joke. I don't know. I can't believe it. Best pacing. <sighs> Maybe the guy is, uh... Uh, maybe he's Turtle Man from the Flash comics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, that movie yeah. went fucking by for him. <laughs> yeah, like, this is what I've always wanted. A movie that never ends. Yeah. Wow. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, I can't say it enough. I'm sorry to waste our time. Oh, uh, it's all right, Steve. At least it wasn't a three-hour movie. Oh, uh, I only pick those. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> At least it wasn't Goliath Redux. Redo. <laughs> what it, Redux? Redux. 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 Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know if it's a silent X. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't speak French. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, or Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah. Do you speak Charlie Sheen? I, I do speak Mar- Charlie Mar- Sheen. Martin Sheen. Well, like? I don't speak Martin Sheen. Yeah. I speak Charlie Sheen. <laughs> I've threatened a woman with a knife before. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, we're and I'm about two and a half men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had sex with Denise Richards and Jennifer Grey. No, it was just implied. Uh, Ferris Bueller. Oh yeah, it was just implied. Hmm? Implied that they were going to get together later. Oh, it was a cameo. Yeah, he, he that was a good a cameo. cameo. That was his best cameo. Yeah, I, I do think. I do believe. Martin Sheen's best cameo though. Hot Shots Part D. Oh yeah. Yeah. What, what did he, who did he play? The character from Apocalypse Now. Oh, did he? Okay. <laughs> I I was probably like. 12 when I saw that. I don't know. Whenever it was in the theater. Yeah. That's yeah, uh, the scene where Charlie Sheen is going down the river in a boat and uh, Martin Sheen's boat passes him and both of their uh, internal monologues uh, <laughs> collide as uh, they go past. That's pretty good. I fucking love those movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, I, I had never even probably heard of Apocalypse Now when I saw that. I was like, I don't get that. That's not funny. That's, okay. I'll have to see that again. Maybe yeah, maybe I'll watch that to like clear my head tonight. <laughs> no, what well, we are watching tonight is uh, the Simpsons twentieth anniversary. 20th anniversary yeah. yeah, should be good. You do not enjoy the Simpsons. No, I do. <laughs> I just have lost my love of the Simpsons. Uh, I see. I'm me and the Simpsons are like a married couple that we still you know do stuff together, right. but sleep you know. in separate bedrooms. No, we still sleep in the same bed. Just, oh, okay. just like. There's like a, a four inch four inch gap. Yeah, yeah the the, uh, the the animals all sleep in between you. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or like you know, I drop her off at her uh, poker game, and then I go out with the boys. Right, and, right. Yeah, we still get along, but we were talking about the Simpsons, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I like I, I just didn't want to be confused. No, 
just like the last ten episodes I've seen, I was like, oh, those are that, that was okay. Yeah. That was a good way to kill twenty minutes. It wasn't bad. But like, I remember loving them. You know, like laughing out loud and being like, oh, that was great, oh, awesome. But it's been a long time since I felt that way about them. They are uh, a long way from their peak mm-hmm. for sure. But uh, I'd still say that the weakest Simpsons episodes are better than. Most of your other television shows. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree with that. But yeah, I just I wouldn't say that <clears throat> I love it anymore. Yeah. I could, you know, honestly, I could do without it. <laughs> like if I never saw another episode of The Simpsons, it probably wouldn't bother me. But but it's entertaining. I watch it. I've missed more than my fair share of uh, the past uh, five or so years of The Simpsons. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. Uh, I got to say, I do kind of miss it every year right now. Really? It's like, oh, I haven't seen The Simpsons in a while. It's like a childhood friend I grew up with. Yeah. And, uh, and when I see him, like, you know, like walking through the mall or something, I'm like, hey, what's up, Barney? Right. But, you know, yeah. Barney the drunk from The Simpsons. <laughs> Barney the drunk. I was thinking, I was actually thinking Flintstones, but yeah, that would make more sense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um. uh, anything I, I, anything I, else I, exciting I, going on? Yeah. Uh, anything else? Uh, <laughs> did we go see a movie? Did we go to the theater? We didn't. Oh, uh, we're still uh, Sherlock Holmes. That was the last uh, thing. Okay. Have we talked about that? Yeah, 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 we did. We did. We did. Okay, I guess, uh, I guess not. Yeah, we haven't really. Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's uh, yeah, we had drawing night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. It's yeah. Good. Uh, I think I was. Uh, yeah, I've just been going to school and uh, you know, working. Been kind of busy. That's about it. I've uh, mostly just been working and uh, mm-hmm. playing video games. And, uh, we are well, uninteresting people. You know, we totally are. We should totally. Are. We should talk about our lives and <laughs> hope that people uh, would listen to it. That'd be a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> what were we thinking? Uh, uh, we're idiots. Yeah, it's, 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 we should definitely talk about something other than this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's why we have topics yeah. for every episode. That's so true. That, uh, yeah. we can, can you imagine if this was about us? This would be as painful. Oh as yeah, if, if if this was like a, a never not funny or crank cast situation where we didn't have anything specific to talk yeah. about, holy crap, this would be two episodes long. It would be like Goliath. Yeah, yeah. It'd be yeah. like like get over it, yeah. move on. <laughs> so I had an interesting day this morning. Uh, I woke up. Everyone, you I already li- told me the story. You went to DSW. Oh no, no, there's oh, no, okay. there's a oh, little, okay. Uh, I, I live, as you know, with three other people. Yes, all of them had some sort of like striking ail- ailment today. All right, like, like a Doogie, uh, completely hungover. Like, yeah. like he hardly ever is even slightly hungover. Like, even if he's out drinking the night before, he's up before me, like cooking eggs, and he was like, like I came over here at like three, and he was still like. On the couch, like holding his head, uh, hung over. Uh, Mindy, just to hydrate. Yeah, that's what I told him. I was like, get in the shower. I was like, that's the first thing I ever do if I wake up and I'm mm-hmm. hungover. Drink like a gallon of water. Mm-hmm. Soak in it. Flush Soak it in out. Tub. Yeah. Uh, Mindy, sick. Uh, food poisoning. She believes she can't even stand up without wanting to vomit. No. Uh, and Theo, rash all over his entire body, other than his face. Oh, okay. Yeah. How's that happen? I have no idea. He like some rash. sort. Of, no, he doesn't wear diapers anymore. So he's three and a half. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, um, yeah. But he was like still having a great time. He was running around playing, like uh, watching Pink in the Brain on on VHS. Pretty cool. I would be having a great time yeah. if I was watching Pink <laughs> exactly. in the Brain. Who would? <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I was like I I like felt bad for feeling so good because. I, I I didn't leave your house till like three in the morning this morning, right. and uh, I got to bed around you know three forty five ish, and I got up at nine thirty and I was fine. Like I was having, I was feeling good. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, wow, everybody is having this horrible day, and I, I feel like I've drained them of their positive energy or something. Or their, maybe you did. Maybe it's possible. Maybe, maybe this is why I'm so angry. You've drained me of my positive energy. <laughs> oh, maybe this is why I'm an asshole. Because I hang around you all the time. And I'm in a good mood, usually. And you're, yeah. you're sucking me like a vampire. Wow. I'm sucking all the, 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 the love and and positiveness and and goodwill that I have towards humanity. You're just draining me of it. Wow. I'm, and I become this bitter, angry asshole. <laughs> 
It's a theory. It's a theory. <laughs> uh, well, I, too, woke up at like 9.30 this morning, which uh, is, is uh, not something that I usually do on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm usually in bed till like 1 when I can. You know, neighbors willing. All right, all right. Uh, but I got up at 9.30 and uh, went out and did my laundry. Sweet. Yeah. You got to jump on the day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is uh, the most I have accomplished before 1 p.m. on a Sunday in like 15 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I went to the grocery. I cleaned out a cat box. I, I was doing it today. I was on. Showered and got all gussied up. I came over here. Gussied indeed. Casted my pod. We are doing that. Yeah. yeah. It's, a good, it's a good Sunday. It's a good thing. It's a good thing, yeah. All right. Krizap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Krizap, indeed. I uh, went to uh, second time around, uh, two days in a row mm-hmm. this weekend. I went to Friday evening and then Saturday morning. <laughs> uh, picked up a hot item. Picked up a very hot item. Uh, they were frying shit and uh, using iron skillets, and I just grabbed it. That's dangerous. It is very dangerous. You should wear gloves. It is very dangerous, yeah. Melted through my hand. I no longer have a hand. <laughs> I'm on Vicodin. This is why I've uh, been so chipper this episode. Really? Rather than just screaming in pain. Really? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, like, uh, I went there Friday nights, uh, just you know, just cuz. And just browsing around, and I uh, saw an item, which uh, I was like, ooh, I have been looking for that for quite a while. Oh, yeah. And uh, picked it up, carried it around the, the entire store with me for like an hour. And uh, decided finally at the end, yeah, it's 25 bucks. Yeah, I should I'm probably just better off saving my money. Mm-hmm. Put it back on the shelf. Bought something else instead. A movie called Trick or Treat. Go see it. It's much better than Goliath. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Uh, so then uh, I came back home and uh, I wound up just like going on to like Amazon and eBay to see how much that one particular item uh, would go for. You know, maybe I can find it cheaper. Fuck no, you can't find that cheaper. <laughs> it is out of print, and the cheapest I could find it on either place was like seventy dollars. It's Titus season three. I have season one and two. I love the show. I love Christopher Titus. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Uh, I've been wanting season three for a while, just never went out and got it. Uh, yeah, apparently second time around had the best deal going. Right. Do you think they knew? Uh, they- I don't know. You'd think they would have put it for a little bit more than that yeah. if it was... Uh, just thrown on eBay or something. Right, right. Uh, so, yeah, so I uh, went back there Saturday morning, made sure I grabbed that. Because, uh, you know, who knows? There may be one other Christopher Titus fan out in Dayton. Yeah. But you're one up on him. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah Screw bastard. that guy. Poor bastard shelling out harder in cash on Amazon right now. <laughs> oh. We should invite him over. Yeah. We'll watch Titus. We'll watch Titus. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Some, uh, some Christopher Titus and his brother Zach Ward. And his his pa. Dad, Stacy Keach. And he's his, really. Uh, he's my favorite part. He's of awesome. Yeah. And uh, super hot uh, girlfriend, Cynthia Watros. Watros. Gigantic boobies. <laughs> Whoa. Perfect. Uh, I love a booby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Eh? Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing wrong with the boobies. Yep, nope. we're all fans here. Oh yeah, all of us here, all <sighs> ten of us. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know what, what's happened. I don't know what's happening. I don't. Know. I, think, I think that movie just affected us. We can't. We can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't even. Uh, we we were doing okay. Yeah, we were doing all right. Yeah. yeah. Let's just end this then. Yeah. All I've been right. thinking so. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing going on. Yeah, I guess. Snowed out. Who fucking gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> it's cold here. It's cold everywhere. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. All right. So I got to pick a comic, though, before we go. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, last uh, comic episode, you picked Concrete, one of the great uh, indie comic icons of the, the, the mid to late 80s. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I'm going to pick one of the other great indie icons of the, the mid-80s. Oh? We are going to read The Rocketeer, the complete collection. Sweet. <clears throat> Dave Stevens. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, the, the hardcover? Yes. Okay, cool. Just got that a couple weeks ago. Read it today. Wow, wow. Doing it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, sweet. Rocketeer. Rocketeer. Yeah, I've never seen the, the comic, movie. Never not read the, the movie. Comic. I'm, I'm never no really never seen the movie. No familiar to, with either one. Yeah. Really familiarity? Yeah, familiarity. Really? Yeah, never I've seen pictures. Right. Uh, uh, that's it. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean you know what it is. Obviously, sort of. Yeah. yeah. But never seen the movie. No. Well, why not? No reason. Really? I never avoided it. Just never saw it. Huh. Yeah. Should I see the movie before I read the comic? I don't know. Really? I'm, I'm sitting here thinking maybe you should. Really? Oh. I mean, it's a good movie. I mean, we're, we're not we're not reviewing the movie, right. so but no, yeah, I'll, I'll just go ahead and tell you that like I, I find the movie incredibly enjoyable. Maybe I'll just wait until after I read the comic. Okay. That way we both have our own uh, perspective. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm, glad, right, I'm glad you picked that. Yeah. Right. I'm excited. Fantastic. Dave Stevens. Dave He's Stevens. awesome. Oh, yeah. Speaking of boobies, he can draw boobies. Yes, he can. And you'll see them aplenty in the Rocketeer. Uh, really? <laughs> I say, yeah, that seems wrong. But, but then sort of is like porn at the grocery, and, you know, obviously that exists. So. The convenience store porn. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, I'm confused about the why, why boobies and the Rocketeer seems wrong. Isn't that like a all-ages friendly thing? No. Oh, really? Okay, because it wasn't a Disney movie? It was a Disney movie. Okay. Comics, not. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. Thought Comic it was all. Is, is I didn't think it was. The early 80s indie comic. Oh, okay. I thought it was just like, you know, for all ages, though. Not really. Okay. Cool. Well, awesome. Boobies away. Boobies a ho. Here we come. <laughs> all right. I wanted to say. Oh, boobies ahoy. Ahoy. Yeah. It came out a ho. Boobies a ho. Yeah. <laughs> That's our new tagline. <laughs> Welcome to Gutter Trash. Boobies a hoe. <laughs> All right, then. So, yeah. Uh, you got to go walk a dog? I got to go walk a dog. I got to go take a leak? Take a leak. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right. On the podcast. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to get sued if we ever get Fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, goodbye. Boobies a hoe. <laughs>